Edge. Welcome to your weekly forecast. Now, let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. This is for April 21st until 27th, okay? Um, I did it in advance because I wasn't able to complete the, uh, the rest of the uh, forecast this week. Alright, Sage, let's take a look. Ending things with an, with an earth sign. You're only trying to be strong. There are some changes that you will be coming your way and that you are, you know, thinking about contacting someone who's a fire sign for a little while. And this fire sign, unfortunately, will just drive you into a lot of difficulties. And, you know, you're also looking for a job, but I don't feel like it is going to be happening this week. Not to mention that there is also someone who will... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, let's go to the top first. Um, things are ending between you and an earth sign, and uh, you're only trying to find the strength and how to pull through with the situation. Changes are coming, but then it is because of you getting in touch with an older fire sign around you. You're feeling somewhat lonely and sad, and you're so afraid of what's going to come next because you're so afraid of the unknown. And this fire sign person will just drive you into a lot of difficulties and uh, a lot of struggles. Y this person will also try to hide from you. So instead of you getting some help, this person will just play around with you and will just laugh or laugh at you or mock you. Okay? And there will be a double heartbreak. Uh, no, actually, three triple heartbreaks that you will have to go through. One that is uh, the one that is someone that you're with, another from the person that you used to be with, and uh, one from your families. Okay. You're waiting for money to come and then for things to start changing and swirling. But then you are not going to be able to manage your finances carefully, as I feel like there will be. It seems like there's a red letter or there is a letter from the bank, from the government, insurance, or mm, something legal that you will be receiving. And that you need to be a little bit more careful because this people has been looking for you, okay? That you have lied to them for such a long period of time. And now that they're going to be catching you and they're going to nail you into your address, it seems like they will be um, creating much more disturbance for you, okay? Now... Okay, I'm just gonna let the phone ring, for God's sake. Um, and I feel like you'll be keeping your walls up um, from this f um, earth sign. Well, you're thinking about communicating with this person, but then you know that you've already blown up the chance three times, so you're not really counting on it. Until that you will be learning all your lessons, the things that you needed to know, the truth, and that you will also learn how to value people, person, and then you will be asking for forgiveness and uh, you'll be asking for another chance with this earth sign. Yet you are still waiting and still, you know, like you will also be weighing the uh, advices of these two water signs. In your life and uh, they are the one who actually ruined your relationship and this is what you're going to be realizing that they intentionally ruined it for you so that you will be even to them or you will be into their level you know some people who's actually in a very difficult situation or if they're not really happy or they're pretty much miserable in their lives misery loves company always remember that and don't be so gullible you know, if someone is really um, concerned about you, they will be advising you the right things to do instead of bringing out the demon in you. Now, you will also be tricked by a uh, mother figure or your actual mother and someone who's a younger earth sign, you know, and because they all want money from you. 
And because of this, this is where you will only be opening up your eyes to the truth of the situation. And I feel like this is where you will be realizing that everything is just like a karmic pattern. Or it's just like a karmic situation. Okay. You know, actually your problem is so simple. That you don't really have to go through all of this. You're taking the easy way out. And you're just trying to look for, um, you know, like a lifesaver instead of swimming because you don't want to get tired. You feel like if you would just float, you know, why not? Because there's already a um, um, lifesaver. So at this point, the main lesson here is if there is something that you really wanted to have, you have to work hard for it. You cannot... Um, cover up your insecurities, your mistakes, and your flaws by uh, bad mouthing other people. Okay, um, you just have to learn that everything that you do, it will bounce back at you. Okay, so be very careful with all the things that you will be doing to others, so that others won't do it unto you. All right, and uh, karma will always have its way of slapping you, and uh, you know, sometimes uh, whooping you in your ass. Okay, so there is a big lesson to learn here. Do not hurt the people who really love you the most and who's been there for you during your down times. Learn how to value people and their existence in your life because you cannot really turn back time once you've lost them. All right. Anyway, that's it for you for this week, Sagittarius. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.